Hello everyone, this is Melanie Eke with Major Film Events. Today we are in Hollywood at the Egyptian Theater for Starring Europe, showcasing all of the new films from the EU. I am so excited to talk to some of the cast from the films and the directors and get a little bit more insights of what the new films are coming from the EU. So why is it important for you to support this, this event? Because we stay to be Europe. I'm so happy for the French election. I'm so happy that we're staying together and all these amazing storytellers and that we celebrate that today. I'm going to see a wonderful movie and then more of those for the next week, in yes. the next week. Is there anything you want to add? I concur. <laughs> no, I think it's really well said. I'm from Holland. I think the Dutch actually maybe a month ago they started that, you know, they stopped this I don't know whatever movement it is, and then the French did it a few days ago. So we're 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 proud of Europe right now. Is there, is there anything else that you're looking forward to? Any current projects that you're working so on? So I'm a lead on a video game, which comes. Video game. Okay. Oh yes, but I can't disclose the name yet. But in September, watch out. That's so exciting. Are either of you on social media? If so, what is your social media? The complicated name, Nina Fanocek, officially on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. You find me. Me too. It's philippebrenningmeyer.com. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking with us. I hope you enjoy all of the films So you are supporting today. Why was it important for you to come out today and support Starring Europe? Uh, because, I don't know, I, I, because they don't show many European films here. And growing up with, a, with European films and Estonian films and working many, many years in Europe, uh, I just was intrigued what's happening here and I, I definitely want to support European films and I wish uh, like here in Hollywood they would show more. Yeah. Are you on social media? I am, yeah. What's your social media? <laughs> the, uh, Crystal Elling, you can find my name. Uh, yeah, just my name, Crystal Elling. Yeah. We will be looking out for you and congratulations on your plays. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy the film. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you so much for speaking with us. So I understand that you are here to support a particular film. Tell us about it. Uh, well, I'm supporting my friend Guglielmo Poggi, who's uh, in this new movie. Um, I haven't seen it yet, but I heard it's uh, it's incredible. As uh, as an Italian living abroad, I'm uh, I'm very, of course, supportive of my my country, my my teammates. That's great. Uh, just let us know where we can find you. Tell us about your social media if you have it. Uh, yes, my social media. I have my uh, private social media, which is completely difficult. Basiluzzo Malato, which is like. Oh my! <laughs> I don't even know how to spell it. I should uh, trim it. Like. Should we just fun. Google you? Probably the, that okay. would be the best option. <laughs> and then I have the, the Chasing Rabbits, the movie one that I'm trying to promote as well. Perfect. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Enjoy the, the show. The event. I mean, please tell us about the film or films that you're representing today. Okay. It's called Our Last. Il nostro, ult il nostro ultimo. In Italy. Italian. In Italian. It's like to say uh, our last travel, our last trip, because it's the story of two brothers. They lose their mother. And her last will was to go in Sicily, then is uh, in the south of Italy. So they take the coffin on the car and they go to take their mother there. And these two brothers are very different. So, it, And you play one of the brothers? Yeah, the, 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 the one who is a... Uh, the brain? Yeah. <laughs> and he's a wonderful director. You're the director on this, so tell us about your perspective from the directing point of view. Okay, my, my, my point of view. I, I, I did everything. It's a very uh, little movie. It's uh, low, low budget. So uh, I did the camera operator. I edited the film. Uh, uh, so I, I was just like the third actor in scene. Nice. I got the camera on my shoulder and, and stay with the actors uh, as a third actor. <laughs> Where can we learn more about the film? Uh, on Monday? at the Aero Theater, you will see the movie, uh, you will watch the movie, and uh, you can find us wherever you want, I mean, on Facebook and whatever, and we're very open to, to tell us, and tell all the people about our story. We look very forward to seeing it. Thank you so much for speaking with us. Magdalena, you look beautiful tonight, I have to say, first Thank off. Thank you, I appreciate it. Of course. Why, why, what brought you to support Starring Europe tonight? I am European, and uh, I live in Los Angeles full time. It makes me miss Europe very, very much. And I am a fan of European cinema. And the movie that I'm really excited about the most tonight is Sing. Um, you know, it, it's, it's a short film, but the story sounds amazing. I have not seen it yet. Looking forward to seeing it. Uh, the story about, like, 
first of all, girl empowerment, which I'm all for. All about it. And uh, number two, you know, finding your own voice and being able to speak yes, up. You mentioned girl empowerment and as a model, what keeps you going? And especially, you know, you're, it's a very critical industry, so what, what keeps you empowered? You know, I am so inspired by so many cool women and I think they give me always power and, and they keep me inspired like I mean look around Oprah Michelle Obama there's so many amazing women we just have to look around and uh, you know look at our sisters and and we can learn so much from them so that is so true thank you so much for that insight how can we find you uh, you can find me on Instagram Magdalena Mielcaj yeah look there look me up on Instagram. all right find her on Instagram thank you so much for speaking with us Enjoy. why is it important for us to have film festivals that highlight Europe and America I think it is generally important to have uh, different countries represented, of course, in other countries. So Europe in, uh, in America and the same, you know, American, America in, 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 in Europe or in Cannes, which is uh, starting in, in one week. So um, I think it, is, it just helps to communicate and to understand cultures and to really also exchange in a creative and artistic point of view. Definitely. And you're an actor yourself. Can you tell us about some of your current projects? I am an actor. Um, recently, I've been seen in Men in the High Castle. Yes. How about how where we can find more information? Are you on social media? Absolutely, social media on Twitter. My name is Ture Riefenstein, which you have seen. Um, it is on Twitter. I am also on Facebook. Um, you'll find a lot on the I Am To Be Pro, and the next film, which will be very soon, will be on the festival, which is called Willy and Me, which is with Willy uh, Nelson and um, Peter Bogdanovich, and. Uh, as far as I know, Snoop Dogg will also appear, so it will be quite exciting, and I'm playing a, I'm playing a leading part in that. That is a feature, and I'm very, very much looking forward to present it, hopefully, here. Well, we look forward to seeing it out. Thank you so much for speaking with us. All right. And of course, you're a model and actress. You look so amazing together. Thank you very much. <laughs> you're very welcome. So are you supporting any particular films this evening? Um, well, we're here to um, basically support a Europe as a whole, Finnish, English, and uh, yeah, we got the invitation, so we thought we'd come along and enjoy it. And so, do you either of you still do projects with your home home countries? Of course, yes. What Both of us, actually, yes. Yeah. So I do a couple of fashion projects at the moment with uh, one of my friends in Finland. Um, this is actually my friend's dress. Yes, gorgeous. Thank you, thank you. So we're working together at the moment, uh, and we're just going to continue through the year and see where we get where we get to. Nice. Can you tell us about some of the projects you're working on? Here or back in England? Whichever. What is it? Um, well, I was mainly theatre back home in England, so I did a, a show called War Horse. Um, not the film by Spielberg, but I uh, did the show. That brought me out here and um, just finished a film doing The Wrong Neighbour out here. Hopefully um, a TV movie. So we'll, uh, we'll see what goes on from there. That's so great. Where can we learn more about each of you? I know you do social media. Always. I mean, I'm sure. That, I'm sure that dress is all over Instagram right now. It will be. Yeah. So we, that's a couple of different things. So, I mean, my hashtag, which is up and coming at the moment, is called Around the World in 80 Shoots, and that's going to be basically my modeling work as well as my fashion designing work as well. So stay tuned. Thank you. Mine's just my name, Dominic Leader. <laughs> I mean, it's nice. Keep it simple, simple, you know? <laughs> she's got hashtags and everything, but she's got to. <laughs> Thank you so much for speaking with us. Enjoy. So what, what attracts you to this particular film festival? Um, I think, what, I think it's, it has to do with the fact that it's international. Definitely. Definitely have to have that support back and forth. She's Finnish and Australian. I mean, she's Finnish, but she's, she shot her movie partly in Australia. So yeah, she's fantastic. Thank you. That's great. And uh, tell us a little bit about, it. well, is that everything that you're working on? Is there anything else that you would like to promote? Oh, uh, well, Inuendo. yeah, Innuendo. So Innuendo is my debut feature film. It was shot in Finland and Australia, where I live these days, although I originate from Finland. And it's a psychological thriller about a life drawing model. So it should be quite exciting. So does this model have, have any parallels to your life? Well, it's about a bad twin and a good twin, and I think everyone can sort of relate to that, you know, there being that badness in everything that you do and always sort of thinking, of, you know, whether it's things that you do are good or bad and, and, you know, that ongoing questioning about what's good and what's bad, and I think a lot of people can relate to that. Definitely. It's, it's, a, it's a really well done film. It's, it's a film like you haven't seen before. I love it. Where can we learn more about the film and more about you? Sorry? Oh, where can we more, learn more about the film and about you? 
So first of all, you can come and see the film in Venice this Saturday. It's on at 7.30 at the Beyond Baroque. Uh, and you can also jump on the website, innuendomovie.com. And you can check it out at the, the Fine Arts Film Festival dot com and uh, we're available on Eventbrite and everything too so come on down and see the festival perfect my last film festival film festival thank you so much for speaking with us enjoy the show Hi. Catherine thank you so much for speaking with us today so I understand you just completed a film with JK Simmons tell us about it actually it's a new series um, no problem it's uh, called counterparts and it will be stereo um, uh, it'll be on stars so um, I don't know the exact release date yet, but um, I'm really happy and grateful. Excited for you. So what, what are you looking forward to seeing at the film festival? Um, lots of good European work. I can't wait, actually. Yeah. Well, where can we learn more about the series, more about you and everything that you have going on? Um, uh, right now, I'm, um, it's a project in development. Uh, it's a horror thriller and I'm very excited about that I can't share much more about that. I understand I understand oh, thank you hear yeah, that uh, many many times um, so that's the you know the and most recent thing yeah do you do social media shout it out if so um, I do Facebook okay. so hello Facebook <laughs> <laughs> so what drew you to the starring Europe Film Festival why was it important for you to support this particular event it was very important for me to, to support this event because I think this event is not getting enough publicity. And uh, being in Hollywood and everything and having grown up here and being in business, I always feel like, especially this particular festival, should be getting a lot more support, you know. And we're supported as much as I can, you know. So. And I'm sure that your support is appreciated. I just want to ask you really quickly, as someone who has been able to maintain in this industry for so long, how have you been able to re reinvent your brand and stay on top of things and, and survive this long? It's service, service, service. It's like, in real estate, it's location, location, location. In our business service, we, we give a, lot, a very excellent service. We bend backwards to please the customers and we always work with our budget. You know, so this way uh, we stayed in business. My company's now 40 years old. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Quite an accomplishment. Yes. All right, Christoph, I understand that you have a film that's showing. Tell us about it. Well, it is called Peter Peter Goes My Heart. It's a, a film that I made when I was madly in love, but it was more mad. When you were? Second. When you were madly in love, so you're no longer in love? I, I am in love, but not madly anymore. Okay. Because I was madly in love, more mad than in love. So it was, unhel it was unhealthy. It was like, not good. <laughs> and I made a film about these unhealthy feelings, and I'm super excited that it's here at the Egyptian Theater, and I hope uh, a lot of people are going to come and see it. I love it. What is the significance of the Starring Europe Film Festival for you? I think, I think it's, um, the beautiful thing is that uh, America is kind of like the home of cinema in general. Obviously, they swamp a lot of Europe with like Fast and Furious 27 and they, you know, all these. But I think it's beautiful when things like this happen and there's an exchange between like, hey, here's European culture in an American theater. And uh, I think that's what, you know, there's all these negative aspects about globalization. But this is one of the beautiful aspects where like people come together and it's a mutual understanding. And we share stories, we share who we are, identity. I think this is uh, what the world needs right now. This was such an amazing event, bridging the gap between the United States and Europe. It is so amazing to see arts from around the world here in Hollywood, California. Thank you so much for tuning in. Once again, my name is Melanie Eke, and you're watching Major Film Events.